This year's McElwain medals are being awarded to five individuals. Our first McElwain medalist was chosen for his outstanding contributions to our understanding of ocean dynamics, the transport of plankton and plastics using Lagrangian techniques. Please congratulate from Utrecht University, Eric Van Siegel. <laughs> I'm so, so lucky to have been surrounded by inspiring good-natured supervisors, colleagues and collaborators. Wilder Reuter, Peter Jan van Leeuwen and Femke Voesebol uh, during my PhD at Utrecht University, Lisa Biel and Bill Johns at the University of Miami's uh, Erasmus, uh, Matt England at the University of New South Wales, and Joe Haig and Martin Ziegler at Imperial College in London. And now that I'm back in Utrecht University, of course, Henk Dijkstra. And then add to that the more than 480 fantastic and inspiring collaborators and co-authors. And I can really say that I'm standing on the shoulders of giants. I'm fully aware and appreciate that I'm privileged. And I realize that not everyone has access to these chances and opportunities. So I'm in an early career. I'm still young. So I will be an academic for a few years to come. At least I hope I can. Now, global society is changing fast. Scientists cannot simply keep doing science as we've always done. To stay relevant, we need to change every aspect of our research. Planning our research through co-creation with the broader society. <coughs> Conducting our research in a fully transparent, inclusive and collaborative way. Communicating our research to the peers and the broader public and getting recognized and rewarded in an unbiased way. Society rightly demands radically open science. The tools and ideas for this radically open science are in place. Now it's up to us as a scientific community to embrace them. 